What is going on in the market here in Northern Virginia, second quarter 2024? If you're looking just in general, what's happened here in Northern Virginia is that there's been year over year about the same amount of homes sold a year ago versus today. So there's been no movement in regards to uh, the, the inventory, the supply, or the demand. It has remained relatively stable. There's so many micro pockets here in Northern Virginia, so it really depends on exactly where you're looking. If you're looking for a condominium in the, call it 600,000 range, then you can have an expectation that you can find one if you're a buyer. You have an expectation that you could sell one if you're a seller. You increase that, however, and you're looking into the above $600,000 for a condominium, there's been a 21% increase, which means that if you're selling a condo above 600,000, you're in a pretty good spot right now. If you're buying a home uh, over 600,000, that may be a little bit of a challenge. Now, let's go over to the townhomes. It's actually the opposite for the townhomes. Right now, the uh, the amount of townhomes that are on the market uh, are increasing somewhat. So that causes for there to be more options, more opportunities for the buyers, and it causes for the days on the market to sort of increase for the sellers. If you're looking at a single family home and you're looking in the middle range, uh, call that the 700,000 range, the demand for mid-market single family homes right now has been higher than previously. There's about 1.5 months of supply on the market. And so there's a, there's a limited supply of those types of homes, which again is great for the seller, for the buyer. You may have to write multiple offers on multiple homes. Same for the lower price single family homes, less than 700. If you go above a million, there's a little bit more of a stability where there's an equilibrium between buyers and sellers. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you're buying a single family home less than a million, less than 700,000 in that range, you may have to compete to be able to get your offer accepted. If you're above a million, it's sort of an equilibrium. So that's what's going on in the marketplace today. I guarantee you Manassas is different than Herndon, it's different than Alexandria, different than Clifton, um, and different than Burke. So let's have a conversation and I can share with you exactly what's going on in your area. Hit me up. I'm happy to have a conversation with you. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If I can help you in any ways, even if just to answer a question, or if you're interested to buy a home, sell a house, or invest in real estate, call me or text 703-346-2776 or email me, dan at greetingsvirginia.com. I look forward to hearing from you and helping you, and I hope that you have the best day of your life. God bless you. Greetingsdmv.com and Dan Roshan. <laughs>